Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Diablo Immortal. Today, we're going to be talking about the Monk Assassin class. We're going to show you how to build and how to play a Monk Assassin. Now, you're thinking, well, Monks, they're actually a fighter class, right? They fight, they're fighting, and they also have lots of crowd control. And yes, uh, Monks used to do that. But right now, one of the most prevalent, I'm going to say maybe 80% of all Monks in Battlegrounds that I see are using Shimmerlin. And the Shimmerlin gives them insane burst damage. And uh, with this insane build with burst damage, you're able to get into the back lines and eliminate squishy high priority targets. Now, this class isn't absolutely uh, foolproof. There are still battle mages with their uh, red scorch balls that can stun lock you and get you down. So be afraid of those scorch balls and be sure to go in when those scorch balls are used or you can hit those wizards with the shimmerlin the wave of light from a range distance so you don't get stun locked all right so let's talk about some of the skills mystic strike you have three of these they are really strong dashes you see how you dash across and then you have a mystic ally that will actually come towards you now this is a very good skill to use even when uh, Demon Hunter may go invisible. When a Demon Hunter goes invisible, you can still hit them and you can still kill them. So you, if you dash through uh, invisible Demon Hunter, that Mystic Ally will still run straight through and hit and possibly kill that Demon Hunter. The Mystic Ally that spawns behind you, that dashes to you, will also drag your enemy towards you. Now the next skill is the Exploding Palm, and this is an amazing skill. You will have to get two legendaries to go with this skill, and that would be Numb Realization. It is a hat that will make it so that when you use your Wave of Light with the Shimmerlin shoulders, you will be able to proc the damage from Exploding Palm causing a huge amount of burst damage. Also, you will want to get an offhand called Reaching Rebuke. This is a very good offhand, which will cause you to have this exploding palm that will allow you to move in any direction. After you go into the air, your enemies don't know where you're going to land. And this is a great way to escape in any situation. This skill alone, Exploding Palm, with the ability to go up into the air, will help you escape from multiple enemies. You can literally, I love this skill, because you're able to 1v3 some enemies and get out alive. You'll be able to jump into a group of three enemies and you will be able to literally go in any direction. As soon as you go into the air, your enemies will probably continue running they will probably continue running in the same direction that they were running you can simply jump backwards and since you are in the air for a very long amount of time uh your enemies by the time they realize that you jumped the other direction they won't be able to catch up with you Next up is the skill that we have been waiting for. This is the uh, insane burst damage that monks are able to deal. And that would be Wave of Light. Wave of Light requires the shoulders, the Shimmerlin shoulders. This is absolute key to this uh, build. You will need to get the Shimmerlin shoulders, which will turn your Wave of Light into an eight directional nuke. All right. This nuke will hit and obliterate anyone around it you can hit up to three enemies you can kill three enemies with your wave of light and you have two charges okay if you go in and if you hit uh, so, uh someone with like two both blasts of your wave of light they are probably zero hp okay and unless they are uh, crusader invincibility or if they are a barbarian that actually has their own invincibility for six seconds they should be dead Okay, and uh, if they are a barbarian, you just come back after six seconds and you can finish them off. The next key component 
for your wave of light would be Harmony's Song. This is the chess piece. The legendary chess piece that you need is Harmony's Song. This will increase the range of your wave of light by 29%, giving you 30% more range. Will make wave of light hit people from across the screen. And that is very, very important. You're able to uh, blast wizards and demon hunters at ranges that no other melee class has. And you're, able, you're able to be also a little bit tankier because melee classes are inherently tankier than ranged classes. So you, you become a ranged melee class. The last piece to enhance Wave of Light will be Chastising Radiance Pants. And this will increase the damage done by Wave of Light by 19%. Okay, so that is very important. Chastising Radiance will increase the damage done by Wave of Light by 19%. All right, so be sure to have uh, all three of these legendaries in order to make your Wave of Light deal enough damage, have enough range, and just absolutely obliterate your enemies. Your fourth skill is Shield of Zen. It is very important. Before any engagement, before you dash in and kill someone, you will want to use Shield of Zen. This shield will help you by providing protection from CC, okay? As long as your Shield of Zen is on, it's harder to fear you, harder to knock you back. But as soon as your Shield of Zen have been uh, depleted, then you will be able to be CC'd. And if you're CC'd, it's, uh, you're probably dead. You're not able to get out. All right. So Shield of Zen is very important. Before you engage in any combat, always have Shield of Zen up. The key legendary for Shield of Zen is Intervening Law. You need this. Uh, this will allow you to Shield of Zen across um, walls. You'll be able to get through some walls through dungeons. Uh, by using uh, Intervening Law, you'll be able to dash through walls. You're able to dash through Necro Walls. So sometimes in Battlegrounds, uh, your Necros may put up a whole wall that blocks your whole team. It will not block you because you can Shield of Zen straight through that Necro Wall. You have to stand pretty close to the wall, but then you can actually, uh, you can actually Shield of Zen through that wall. If you have Intervening Law. Intervening Law will also let you buff a teammate with it. Your teammate would also get a shield as well as if you have an invocation that will proc when you buff a teammate. This will, uh, intervening law, will help you proc that invocation. So you will have three skills. You will have Mystic Strike, Exploding Palm, and your Shield of Zen. All of these are dashes and will proc Gloom's Guide. So you will want to run either four-piece Gloom's Guide or... You can run six piece Gloom's Guide. Running uh, four piece or six piece Gloom's Guide is very strong. You uh you can use that for your set pieces. Now with a four piece Gloom's Guide, the other two pieces should be Vithus. I I, I really enjoy the Vithus. It will give thirty percent uh, beneficial duration. That thirty percent beneficial duration will allow your Shield of Zen to last longer. Also. It will allow your your uh, your bottled hope. It will allow your Gloom's Guide buffs to last a little longer. So you can go either for four piece Gloom's Guide and two piece Vithus or six piece Glooms. All right. So the next up, we're gonna see a video of just how strong a monk assassin is in battlegrounds. All right. So being a monk assassin, you're able to get into the back lines and destroy their range carries okay so most other classes have difficulty getting through walls you have exploding palm you can get through walls so if you have pesky necros and their walls uh if you have demon hunters in the back you can actually get in get out and still be alive and uh there'll be a dead necro a dead demon hunter a dead wizard and uh, you, you get, get back out and just bandage up. That's what this class is all about. Having Seeping Bile is actually pretty good with this, uh, with, this, with this combination as well. Your Seeping Bile, if it procs using Shimmerlin, uh, your enemies may have Seeping Bile on them. 
And uh, so Seeping Bow is pretty key to this class as well. Like a minute ago, there was a Barbarian, I think it was named like Killer Goat or something. And uh, he is invincible for six seconds, but after after that six seconds expired, if you have your Seeping Bile legendary five-star gem, that could kill him after his six seconds of invincibility is up. So that, that comes to another key thing that you should do as a, as a monk assassin is you should try to keep your shield of zen up as long as you can because your enemies will probably also have seeping biles and whenever you go to bandage it's important to make sure that you are not glowing green if you're glowing green you have seeping bile taking it off and it will interrupt your ability to bandage however if you turn on your shield of zen that will actually allow you to bandage even if you have a uh, seeping bob dealing damage to you right the shield of zen will allow you to bandage even if seeping bob is still dealing damage to you so shield of zen is very important uh, if you have if you have a seeping bob proccing on you you shield of zen before you bandage as a monk assassin you want to keep an eye also on the mini map Keep an eye on the minimap. You want to know exactly how many enemies are uh, are in the group before you charge in. If you charge in and you if you go in and there's going to be uh, a group of enemies, maybe three or four enemies, they will be able to. They would possibly be able to lock you down. And uh, like right now, uh, you probably die. There's there's just so many enemies right here. And uh, I decided to go in just to just to see if I can kill a few, maybe knock off some gladiators on top of them because we're not able to push in. So so just being doing some more risky risky work just to try to uh, take out and put more people, more enemies on cooldown. Just just it, may, it, might, it might be a little more risky, but uh, but it worked. But it worked. It went in. They were able to uh, put proc my gladiator, but I was also um, able to either make them low or also proc their gladiators. Another very important thing is skill management. You want to always have uh, both your mystic strike and your exploding palm up. This way, you can dash twice, and that way you'll be able to get into their back line. Just like I was able to get in their back line. And uh, keep their enemies, uh, keep the enemies busy. They're sort of focused on me. The rest of my team uh, is destroying the heart. Okay. Okay. Now you know everything about the monk assassin. Basically, you shield with Zen. You clap them in the face. Then you explode twice in their face, and uh, that's it. They're dead. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think about this monk assassin class. And um, if you like to subscribe smash that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out and if you're super awesome hit that like button okay thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video yeah.